Welcome back, everybody. This is the Benjaminator. You're watching Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is Mike. My Let's Play, as in I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, now we're we're at the Imperial Continent after our. Uh, I don't want to. It, ra Ralph. And it's full of mutant clowns. Yeah, okay. it's it's got it's. It, <laughs> this entire game is three megabytes. Oh wow. wow. So in case you uh oh you got you got hurt. So I've just been informed by our uh, technical ex expert that uh, this game is exactly three megabytes. So let's there's a lot him. of space back in. Just in, for shits and giggles, let's try it. Yeah. Yep. Right now, Khan's got amazing sunglasses. So where were we story-wise? Yeah, um, we had a... Oh, there we go. That's beautiful. That's Imp, everybody! <laughs> it's like a freaking hedgehog. <laughs> uh, it looks like an angry troll... Like a, like a baby angry troll of some sort, or an ang like, a, like an ugly mutant ninja turtle. Kind of feel like. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't look happy. <laughs> It, it, it was a happy, you know, Winston Churchill bulldog, and now it's a sad, small thing. <laughs> so anyway, story-wise, uh, we had this whole shebang at the Opera House where we posed uh, Cher basically as this woman named Maria who was an opera singer in the hopes that uh, Kenny, the wandering flying gambler, would come and take us and we'd be able to work out a deal with him to come to the, the, the Imperial Continent. And he lost a bet uh, with a double-sided coin that was both heads, so. And uh, yeah, three cheers for the Empire. Fuck you! Um, so this is, uh, what's that? this is Albrook, yes. I love that civil works budget. There's a fucking hole in every wall. Uh-huh. Well, you know, when, uh, you, old man. When war and occupation is your bread and butter, you tend to invest less in infrastructure. Eh, that's not true. <laughs> Everything belongs to the Empire. You're not in the way. You're in the way. Yeah, you can't go to the port. If you, if you try to slide by him, he knocks you back. So... Yeah, this is one of the three occupied Imperial towns. We got Zen and Miranda, also. And there's a party going on here. And this is a relic shop. Let's actually check out what the relic shop has. So I think it does have some pretty nifty stuff. Uh, oh, never mind. It doesn't really... It has expensive relics that are completely worthless, like the sniper sight. You don't need that. Right, because accuracy... If accuracy were actually programmed into this game, we'd be having to play it very differently. Oh, yeah. So, wall rings are useful, but we don't need them right now. Right. Wall rings are definitely useful later on. Autocast later wall. Mm -hmm. That's handy yeah. for stuff. I, I can't uh, think of any... Is wall worker, like, reflect or, like, shell? It's... No, it's, like, reflect. Okay. Yeah, there is a, there is a relic that autocast shell, but I forget what its name is. Oh. You can always get an elixir in a clock. And this is where all the drunk soldiers are. Hooray! And we have pinup girls walking around. This is my kind of dive. Yep. This is probably making Khan really uncomfortable. Because we saw what happened with him with the, uh, the prostitute. Damn! That's a lot! <laughs> we must look uh, like a bunch okay, of Okay, at least they know what this, this place is about. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah, their, their security sucks, though. Uh, those guys are those guys are pretty sloshed. They are extra drunk. Yeah, they they think that we're the uh, the staff. <laughs> yeah, they all say the nice. same thing. <laughs> and unfortunately, you can't talk to the stage dancers. No, you see, what I wanted to do was uh, <laughs> scratch the record and start beatboxing. Oh, you want oh you want to play some Benny Goodman on there? <laughs> I don't know. They're the tables are upright. If these were insane soldiers, I imagine that the uh, the furniture would be in pieces. Cafe. <laughs> yeah, cafe. It's <laughs> kind of a maid cafe situation as it stands. <laughs> uh, Wolsey was probably like, you know, I was debating whether or not to say cafe or titty bar, but we'll go with cafe. <laughs> you, you didn't think that bribery was kind of part of the normal gig? I guess that must mean there's a black market around here or something. Probably. Yep. Something valuable to the east. Intent. But actually, we don't want to go there yet. 
There's a... I love how there used to be a door there. So there is a weapons and armor shop here, but the stuff they sell here is not nearly as good as uh, some of the other towns, so... That's fine. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about that. That leads to nothingness. Into the abyss. Yep, it's it's a nihilistic the passageway. The abyss. <laughs> it's more fun if you say it that way. <laughs> Kiss the abyss. Wasn't there a, like an old? I think there was some like destructo derby vehicle game called Kiss the Abyss, but I might be wrong. Or like it Karmageddon, was like Armageddon, Rogue Trip, Vigilante Eight. I can't think of anything named Kiss the Abyss. Ah, oh, this is actually a good conversation. Oh, no. <laughs> the Atma weapons. By the no. way, guys, for y'all who are Final Fantasy fans, the translation of this game is Atma weapon, but it's Ultima weapon. No. <laughs> it's the same damn thing. Yeah, and, and as you might imagine, one of them is a sword, and the other one is a really scary monster. Best sword in the game and worst monster in the game. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> Same logic. There's an old man. He's like, Sorry. I'm not letting you buy. I'm gonna destroy you. Yeah, so he's saying, basically, this is a guy saying, don't buy weapons here. That's dumb. There's, there's, a, uh, there's a stage dancer that's lost on her way to work. Cliff diving, yay. Yeah, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the suicide banister right there. For all the people that are just like, fuck it! <laughs> the Empire's invaded my town. I, I, I never... I mean, now that I know what a Vector is, I just find that, that name more amusing. Oh, we got another suicide banister there. Yeah, basically, uh, you know, obviously... Obviously, the Republicans are running the budget for the Empire because there's no infrastructure spending. Or food. Or food, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely no food stamps in Albrook. That's for sure. You. I'm about to mug you. Uh, yeah, that's that's actually not that useful advice because most most monsters here are Aww. vulnerable to both. I wanted to jump off the suicide banister. Yeah. Jerk. Dunk. Nope, can't go to the port. Fine, I'll just have to. Yeah, you, you, you can't take. You can't get again. drunk and play, take a pleasure cruise in this game, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or you have to tap the X button to chug. Okay, liquor. so there is nothing of import here. Yeah, so yeah, it Al is a sad. Albrook is not super important. Okay, so now let's head left, and uh, there's the airship in case of emergencies. So if we go up. Well, we can, yeah. Yeah, we can. We, we can, You can go to the Imperial Capital. We're going to skip it for now. There's a mountain. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, not a mount, it's not a mountain. It's a space station. Also the Imperial Capital. That is what that one is? Uh, the thing in the middle, yeah. All right. So, what do we want to be today, Spazzy McGee? Shall we... Oh, mammoth. Pokemon. Yay. All right. Yeah, you got, you got, you got the, the warm metal. Uh, might as well cast ice on everybody. That's true. Yeah. I mean, imp. I realize is fun. Hit the R1 button. Right. That's the button. Yeah. Sorry. Right. It's all good. And yeah, I got him. We haven't used Stray in a while. Let's leave, let's use Stray because this is kind of fun. God. Tom looks so strange when he's casting magic. It looks like he's holding a yo-yo. That still just sounds wrong. Cat Rain. Cat Rain is my new progressive <laughs> synth pop <laughs> jazz band. It, it's Follow like Follow us on Bandcamp. <laughs> it, it's like Joe Men Without Song. Hats with a couple new members. Something like that. It was cyclonic. That actually doesn't. That actually doesn't tell me That does like uh, that reduces your HP by I think like two thirds. <laughs> ah, Ralph punched himself in the face. So far, we've turned Ralph into an imp, and we confused him to uh, to to basically make him kill himself. We using capture to get a shiny crap. Do, 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 do. Yes, we should. Oh yeah, these monsters give you a shit ton of EXP, which is awesome. Good. 
and power level a little. Yeah. Also, Cher needs healing. Oh, of course. Yeah, we'll be right back, guys. We're just going to heal up a little bit. All right, guys, we're back. We had to re-equip Cher, so that's something to keep in mind, is that after the opera, opera scene, she basically gets stripped down to her knickers. So, yeah, if we keep... We're heading in the direction of, uh, what is it? I think Zen, which is where I think they have dog fights. Weed feeder! What the fuck, Woolsey? Weed feeder! <laughs> What the fuck is a weed feeder? He's a speed weeder. Ah. <laughs> Apparently, wouldn't they be a little Primordial. bit- Wouldn't they be a little bit more electric and a little less, you know, flying grasshopper? Wouldn't they be less flying- I really don't have an answer to that question. <laughs> oh, we probably need to do relics for her too. Yeah, we need to equip relics on her. Because right. that way she can do her uh, double dose of damage. All the hurting pain. Yep. But yeah, we're getting we're at least getting the nice round robin of enemies in the area. Yeah. With strange games like R Ralph and Weed Feeder. I am the Weed Feeder. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a like a reject villain name. It sounds like, you know, if they were trying to make like a like a like mystery Captain Planet villain, maybe? Well no, like if they made a, if they made a sequel to Mystery Men, I feel like one of the heroes would be named Weed Feeder. Played by like Steve Buscemi or something. He's just throwing brownies. That's it. <laughs> yep. Not even any real powers. He just throws saran wrap like special brownies. <laughs> hey guys, I'm the weed feeder. All right, we're gonna equip uh, Cher. All right, guys. So now, not only does Cher have the Genji glove, she also has the running shoes, which means perma haze. Kung Fu. She's gonna be glowing red. So we're just gonna keep going west, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, this is the way to go. Let's see if we'll find. Westward. We have more Ralphs. Okay. So let's uh actually let's 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 use let's use the power of Cher because she's fast and she's got two weapons, which I think is cool. Let's try out a different rage. Actually one we haven't done before. Uh have we done I don't done Lobo? We haven't done Lobo, no. I think we've done Lobo or Horn. Yeah. Horn yeah, because they're usually unimpressive, but since we're just fighting enemies. Might as well have a little fun. Eh, tough takes some decent damage. <laughs> oh, God, no. Uh, I, I just think of the walrus from, um, is it Alice in Wonderland? Is that the oyster in the walrus? What's the thing? Walrus and the carpenter, yes. The oysters are what they're screwing over. Yeah, exactly. That was meant to be a reference to, uh, Clement Glow and his... Really? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. That's right, like... I thought it was some, like, anti-Semitic thing, but it actually makes a little more sense. No, it was a reference to the fact that colonialism is basically, oh, we're here to protect you and how and then, bullshit then that we're gonna, is. And then we're gonna fuck you out of your natural resources. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're here to help. Ah, uh, Lewis Carroll. So poignant, but your prose is so fucking confusing. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the thing about laudanum. Yeah. It makes you poignant. It doesn't make you blunt. <laughs> yep. All right. So we're almost to the to the the bustling metropolis of Zen slash Gary, Indiana. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Um. Now she hasn't got any other great spells at the moment, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, Scan. <laughs> scan is not... Uh, I mean, if you guys are familiar with Scan and other Final Fantasies, it's pretty much the same thing, and it doesn't have, you know, snarky uh, biographies like it does in 8, unfortunately. It just kind of does that. <laughs> and then it's like, level 18! Well, that's more HP than I expected. Not a lot of MP. Yep. Weak against dice. Well! Okay. I guess we can use the Vol Mammoth again. We can. Yeah, I, it really annoys me when we steal tonics because it's pretty close to useless. It could probably cure uh, our friend, Mr. Spaz. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, he's he gonna die. Damn it. Like the rest of the Vol Mammoths, he's gonna be extinct. Darkest sketch. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, in this universe, they're not extinct. They're still hanging around in Narsh. 
I mean, Narsh apparently is going to have uh, economic problems when they're all done mining coal, but also, they seem to have a terrestrial problem with, uh, you know, wild woolly mammoths running around. And mentally unstable mechanics. Yeah. I mean, Narsh has got all kinds of problems. No wonder, it's no wonder the Empire doesn't really want to bother with it. It's just like, eh, no. Booga, 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 booga. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> like. And we just had an earthquake where we're recording, folks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice uh, six pointer. Uh huh. Oh, that's a lot of freaking gold. I didn't know that bulldogs carried so much money with them. You have to shake them really, really hard. <laughs> and, 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 and you know, flying pteranodons. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Well, pteranodons like shiny things. I guess so. Clasping, clasping them in their talons. Like, every single pteranodon enemy in this game has a ton of gold. Unlike these guys. Actually, you know what? Fuck these guys. We're leaving. We're leaving! Go feed your weeds by yourself! <laughs> uh, apparently, apparently we know who the fastest runner is. It's definitely not Khan. Pikey, man. He's got to get on the treadmill. He's just chilling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nothing wrong with chilling. Well, it's funny that he got berserked and then he ran away. He's like, what did you just say? And then he just goes the other direction. <laughs> I am so fucking pissed. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> he suddenly became bipolar. Uh, oh, here's Miranda. Not Zen. Okay. So, this place is... Do I have a right to be here? Oh, we do, yes. <laughs> This town is significantly Sorry. less occupied. I apologize for that <laughs> pun and several others, but mostly that one. Well, you know, uh, it's... you old man, <laughs> let me take a nap in your basement. Well, you know, if you if you brought a good attorney with you, you could claim that when you walked in, they didn't read you your rights. Oh. <laughs> uh, we could do an entire video of just bad legal jokes. What? <laughs> uh, what was it? Um, you know that was still one of my favorite just stupid jokes they did on uh, Doctor Who. Uh, this town was never beautiful, old dude. You're just you're just wearing nostalgia colored glasses. Mm. This was such a nice place, and then these shit brown soldiers walked in. Okay, that's a little racial. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse racism. <laughs> Actually, you can never, you can't really tell by looking at either the sprites or like the facial graphics of we of Wedge and Biggs in the beginning of the game, like what what uh, ethni e what ethnicity the Imperial soldiers are. Maybe they could be Mongolian. Who knows? All right, let's buy some armor. Uh, we got Mithril Mail. That's sexy, but expensive. Um, We've got a lot of money, though. Oh yeah, let's 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 buy let's buy some Mithril Mail. Trace. Let's get Trace. Trace Mails. Trace Mailos. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> that sounds that sounds like Trace Malo sounds like the name of like some like terrible spanglishy restaurant. I'm not exactly sure what they would what they would sell. Uh, I, <laughs> I would never want to eat there. <laughs> it's like the most unappetizing restaurant ever. No, it's probably okay food. <laughs> it's just that it's also a strip club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thrice bad, yeah. Okay, so maybe it's more of a biker bar then. Oh yeah. Oh, they got. Oh, they looks like they got a draft in the Imperial Army. Oh, and they got the dog fighting. It's crazy. <laughs> That's fucked up. Is that the kid taking bets? Oh shit, he's a he's a competitor. Well. Thanks, Michael Vick. <laughs> That's who it was. I was I was I was trying to remember the football player that had the dog fighting thing. <laughs> no, yep. there's my there's Michael Vick in his later years. <laughs> That's that really fucking depressing. <laughs> this town is so desolate that all they have to amuse themselves are their dogs killing each other. 
<laughs> that's like the, uh, that's the dog trainer right there. Scram! <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's some fucked up shit. Oh, yeah. This game just got dark. Okay, let's go to the murder shack. All right. Yeah, speaking of, uh, you know, dog fighting. Okay. Um, actually, I don't think any of this stuff we need. Oh, the boomerang's good. Boomerang's really good. I want that for, uh, Mr. Pikey. And is the, uh, the epée, which is the French word for sword. Uh, let's, let's just get she has the epée. Yep, that is an improvement. Okay. <laughs> it's tempting to say EP, but it's epée. EP just sounds like E.T.'s cousin. Severely unhealthy cousin. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna give yeah. all our goons. It these sounds things. like it sounds like an STD slash E.T.'s cousin. Pikey. It sounds like a condition. You get a boomerang. Yeah. Uh, does he get the mail too? Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, we got enough. I feel like Mithril Mail would be a great name for a, a courier service in this in this universe. <laughs> nah, the Moogles would outcompete them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll put the armor on everybody else, too. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that Mithril Mail is way more practical than a white dress. Look at that power increase, though. Yeah! Epe! Feel the power of France thrusted into you. <laughs> well, hey, that's, that's, that's French imperialism in a nutshell. Somewhere, somehow, <laughs> a man in the Congo is crying. <laughs> well, I mean, a lot of people in the Congo are probably crying right now. Okay, he's good for gear. Yeah. I think we're in good shape for the time. Yeah, unfortunately, the thing about him is, yeah, Spaz, there's not a lot of stuff you can equip on him. There's a lot of, there's a, there's, he's very limited in the amount of armor that he can, he can actually equip, which is kind of too bad. Oh, we'll give. Yeah, we're pretty strong. Yeah, we'll give Khan a slightly better armor upgrade. Yep, let's look, uh, let's look around for some more shit in the town of Miranda. The saddest town. Yeah, th this place really does suck. I mean, not only does it have infrastructural problems, it has clearly... Drug abuse. Oh boy. Oh, this is a uh, this is a special place. Remember that guy who was sick in Mobles and was writing to his girlfriend, and we at he told us to take a letter to his girlfriend. Well, uh, oh yeah, that's that's a side quest you can do later. But basically, once you have ac easy access between this place and Mobles, you got to basically play the role of the Pony Express and deliver letters from him, who's injured, to his girlfriend, so... Hooray. And that's all there is to... Oh, actually, you, you want to talk to those two. Aisha. <laughs> so she's basically being assaulted right now. Oh, never mind. Oh, she's assaulting him, I see. Okay. That's interesting. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I don't know what's happening there, but I don't want to deal with that. Well, Mike, on, on a scale of, you know, depressing towns, where does that one rank? Uh, worse than Peoria, <laughs> better than Camden, New Jersey. <laughs> There's a lot of things better than Camden, New Jersey. That, that's <laughs> the moral of the story, yes. <laughs> if you think that your town sucks, remember, folks, you're not in Camden, New Jersey. Okay, let's try out the boomerang. The okay. boomerang! Your oh, control. it's my turn, yes. And start using capture. Oh yeah. Well, I, I wanted to stuff. give it. I, I wanted to give it the full trajectory because when you capture it, it's like you, you throw the boomerang like literally two feet. You know what? I don't think we've used. We haven't used the trillium. The trillium. I, don't know I, what I forget what those dudes look like. Oh, fight! Use, use the double power. Oh, bio! That's sexy. Okay, so the Trillium cast bio, that's... That's really good, wow. It's a powerful spell. Epe! Well, since it's in the back, it does slightly less damage, but... Still pretty good. And... Okay. And double attack. Attack with Cher! She's gonna Epe them again. 
Oh, double bio. Wow. So that was we what might, trillium. Yeah, that's should, pretty good. I, I remember that. Yeah, for later usage, I never, I never really stuff. used trillium before, but that's amazing. That is some nasty stuff. Oh yeah, the trilliums are the the viney creatures ah. that are basically just a bunch of consolidated vines that talk to you. Okay. In the voice of Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> and... I'm a bunch of vines. Oh, yeah, up. Pike, you learned bolt too. Khan can make people float. Khan has unlocked the secrets of levitation. Yep. He can speak Shakespearean English and he can float. Okay, I think that there's a chocobo force in here. But it could be wrong. Nope, there we go. Oh, cool. no. This will make travel easier. Oh, no. You know what my favorite mode is? Mode 7. What? Yeah, you get to, you get to experience mode 7. Oh, it's, uh, Idiot. what is the best explanation of mode 7? 2D, 3D. 2D, 3D, oh, okay. Oh, that. Yeah. It's like, I didn't know it was called It's that. when you can take background graphics and project them onto a 3D plane. I and rotate the, what, what and rotate called. the, yeah, and rotate the graphics, basically. You see, I used to call it cheating 3D. Yeah. Okay, so now we want to go north. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember which freaking direction north is. Sorry. Yeah, mo mode seven, it's kind of hard to tell. That horizon. It's not really a horizon, though, because if those were actual 3D mountains, you'd be able to see them from a mile away and not <laughs> not when you're, like, four feet from them. Okay, so, yep, just keep along that coastline. Squeeze in through the beach. And the town of Zen is a little, yeah a little bit up there a little bit further up there just a, just a little bit further up there okay dismount on the town and there we go hooray yeah it's otherwise we'd have to haul ass a long way to get over there and fight a bunch of angry bulldogs again <laughs> yep okay zen has the proper uh guardsmen at the front Uh, you're not supposed to tell them that. If you're a, if you're a functioning umpire, you don't tell people you're going to string them up unless they do something wrong. Yay, the inn. I'm already at the Yeah. I don't need to talk to you people. Ah, oh, yeah, the Guardian. Yeah, if you ever run into the Guardian, just just run away. Because you do z exactly zero damage to it. And drafts suck. What's that lady doing? Yeah, what's that? What's that small child riding on the banister? Banister. Okay, I can't interact <laughs> with that. Uh, not everything. Close though. And I think the weapons are the same, but we can we can double check. We can take a look. Yeah. There's no harm in looking. Woo! Yep. Not pretty much the same stuff. Yep. So if you get weapons in one place, you can get weapons in the other place. Hooray. There's not really that much of a difference. But there is something very, very important in this town. It's not at the armor shop. It's not at the armor shop, no. And it's a little bit hard to see, but uh, it's a little bit north. I, I don't think that the kid says anything important anyways. I don't think you can interact yeah. with the kid. Ah, uh, yeah, that lady's blocking that house. Ah, uh, huge gate. Yeah, that's... Uh, you're not going to be able to get into that house until much later. But that house does actually have some significance. All these freaking potholes. Yep. Oh, so go north. Go to the little bit of the right, to the right, to the right, to the up, to the right, to the right some more. No, 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 no. Down. Keep going. Okay, talk to the guy there. He's not there. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so you get to, later on. You want to go there. 
because that's important. Interesting. So, yeah, there's going to be a guy who's hanging out in the woods later on that you want to talk to. It's kind of a big deal. So, I think we've done everything in this town, actually, that's possible. Looks it. Yep. Cool. All right, so we have successfully explored the towns of Zen, Miranda, and Albrook. So now the only place left to go is the Imperial Capital. Are we going to get in, or are we just going to die on, on the way? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is the Benjinator. This was Mike. See you later.